Today I've got some Dollar Tree hacks using these signs. Keep watching. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Okay, everybody has seen these box signs from the Dollar Tree. I've got three different sizes. I've used them before, and I'm gonna use them again. Talk about saving your money. These are so easy to do. Pop the back out. You can peel off or cover up what's on the inside. Be sure, be sure you get every bit of the glue off that you can get off. Then you're gonna lay it on your fabric. Allow yourself about an inch over on each piece. And then you're just going to start gluing your pieces down. So I'm gonna run a bead of glue, not on the edge, but on the back. And I'm see there, I can't even keep the finger protector on my poor old Bobo finger. And then you're just gonna rub down. If you got a striped piece like this is, the strifted material, then just be sure that you kind of are conscious of your stripes so that you don't have it crooked when you turn it around. And then on the back, you're just gonna fold it like you're wrapping a package. Fold your corner in and then flip it over. Just be careful with your little fingers that you don't burn yourself. Okay, so when all your pieces are done, you can put some paper on the back to cover that up if you want, or if you're gonna keep it for yourself, really not that necessary. I've got some Wooden Joy stickers that I am recycling from another project. I'm gonna use them again. I am not sure where they came from originally, but I got them at Dirt Cheap. Okay, so I've just taken some red paint. You choose whatever color coordinates with what you're doing. And here we go with Joy again. You know what I say about Joy. We're gonna color those very pretty. And then I'm gonna put them aside and let them dry. In the meantime, I'm going to reassemble my houses just like so. I love this fabric. I was trying to choose between this one and then I have one that's a black and white um, ticking mattress ticking but for the rustic look that I'm going for I really think this color looks good don't you think this is nice together this is really nice and it's the final result is just gorgeous I cannot I can't it's really nice so here we are with our three little houses and here are our letters you can put those in whatever order you want you can do small to to large or however you want to do it now we're gonna take stacks of ribbon. These are all beige, white, and red ribbons that I have. And I'm gonna use a different like pattern and different um, style ribbon for each of these houses to embellish them. This is the same bow as we did the first time, but you're doing it with three ribbons instead of one. Now, the main thing you need to know is you've got to really hold that steel and tight around that knot. Otherwise, when you start in pulling it apart like I'm doing here, you'll pull your entire bow apart. So be sure you get it on there tight. Once you do that, you can trim it up or put your edges and your uh, end pieces in the front, whichever way you wanna do it. Then I'm gonna use a different set of ribbon on the next one, but they all coordinate. And then on the next one, uh, even more different set but you can see they're all the same all the same thing they coordinate nicely and so there'll be a bow on the top of each little house now we're going to go back to that same pick from um, Walmart and I'm going to put two pieces in each box there on the bottom and I'm going to take some more of those berries and cut them up into little pieces so this is easy enough trim down where you need to trim to put your pieces in and have them lay down. They're gonna try to jump up because they're bulky. So they're gonna try to pull away. Just hold them down there for a minute or two until it is set, till your glue is set. Just like that. Then you're just gonna add your little berries in there. Y'all can use regular stickers. You can use chip wood. You don't even have to use the word joy. You can put little snowmen or the little wood ornaments that are Christmas trees that you get from Dollar Tree. You can put those in there instead. That would be really cute. Just whatever style and whatever your preference is. So we're gonna do the same thing to each and every one of those. So I'm gonna call these three, three projects because they actually are a little different even though they are a set. Now we're gonna put a little bit of the mistletoe in the top cause hey, we all need a little mistletoe hanging from the top of the house, right? Follow me on my social media, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to be using these little photo prop picks and a thrifted pumpkin. 
and some houses from Dollar Tree and some scrapbook paper or crafting paper or wrapping paper, whatever you have, and then a piece of this cork adhesive paper that's in the background. It's just scrap I have left. And those paper pads are on clearance at Joann's right now for 97 cents. This came from Dollar Tree. I used it on a previous project and had a little left. Gonna need your glue gun, your scissors, glue stick from Dollar Tree, And if you see there in the right corner, that is my daughter crafting with me. She likes to get her craft on while I'm crafting, so that's her design up there. We're going to remove the backs. You can just press with your thumbs and those will pretty much pop out. Sometimes the paper comes out easily, sometimes it sticks. But if you have any on the edges, you can take a regular nail file, got this from Dollar Tree, and just file that down. And the pieces should come off fairly easily. And if you don't mind them on there, you can just leave them on. So we have three houses of three different sizes and I'm just fitting in my photo props to see what's gonna work the best. Those were really easy to pull off the fix too. Now I'm looking at my paper to decide what background is gonna look the best for the colors that we have. Okay. So see there's some remnants of the old paper, but we don't care about that. It's gonna be covered, not a problem. I'm gonna turn it over and measure. And remember part of the frame is going to cover some of the edges. So I'm just moving this down a little bit to allow for the width of the frame, just to make sure that I have enough paper to cover everything and there's no gaps. So I'm cutting right to the inside of my lines. And just using a glue stick that came from Dollar Tree. Came in a multi-pack with the school supplies, by the way. I think there were eight in a pack, so it's a really good deal. Just gonna put that down and use my handy dandy ruler to make it lay nice and flat. So here I am doing the same thing on one of the other houses. And you'll see the gaps on the side, but that won't matter because the frame will cover it. Okay, so the cork adhesive sheet is going to be a little bit different because it has a little thickness that the paper does not have. So we want to allow for that so that the frame can seat down nicely around the cork. And it will pretty much be sitting back in its original position against the backing. So the frame will sit flush against the backing. So to allow for that, I'm going to cut maybe a eighth quarter of an inch, something like that to the inside, just about the width of whatever the frame width is. And I'm just kind of estimating. So I'm cutting it there and I'm also gonna cut it on the other side, but you don't see that in the clip. I'm gonna center it, peel off this little plastic paper backing and just center it onto the back. And then there is a little gap there because I estimated. So I'm just gonna use this in a few minutes and trim it up on the inside. Using the hot glue, I'm going around the edges here and replacing the backs. And it looks kind of like faux shiplap. So it's a nice farmhouse look. By the way, the music I chose is because this is kind of coffee shop music and I thought it would be appropriate for our pumpkin spice cup up there. Okay, so see there's a space there. You're gonna just put your glue there, fit the frame back on top. And here are my little rubber fingertips. These keep your fingers safe, keep you from getting burned. They came from the Dollar Tree in a three pack. So I've gone around my edges and just made that flush against the edges and it looks fine. And here are my three houses. And these are the items that are gonna go in each one. So I'm gonna take the pumpkin spice cup and I have some of these foam, I don't know, dimensional stickers. They're by 3M, but you can get something like this at Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna layer them because I want them to, I want them to 
stand up off of the background. So I'm going to layer two. Two on the top, two on the bottom, and that's going to give it a little depth when you put it into the frame. All right, I'm going to do the same thing to my pumpkin topiary, or pumpkin tower, whatever that is over there. And press him firmly down in the frame too. Okay, the pumpkin, the Happy Harvest pumpkin over there is one that I thrifted, and if you'll know, if you'll see in one of my first two videos, I actually made that one over. Um, so I'm going to use it now. I'm going to use a little Gorilla Glue so that it stays for a long time, and I'm going to use hot glue for a quick fix because I don't know that this is something that I'll ever redo. I really like this particular craft. Never say never. Okay, so you're going to take a pick of your choice. This came from Dollar Tree, and just you can put some leaves in this or around it. You can use the berries, which is what I'm going to use and just cut it into pieces and use it as an accent wherever you wish. to the corner where my pumpkin spice and everything nice cup is. Then you can see I've already put some on the Happy Harvest pumpkin up there. And then this is some thrifted raffia. You can use the hula skirts from Dollar Tree if you like, but I went ahead and used this. All I did was just tie one of the little strings of it around the center to hold it together and give it a, a place to hold the glue and hold in place. And did it there for the pumpkins as well. And this one I'm going to do the same way and with a little tie in the middle. But rather than gluing it straight onto the bottom, I've done it sort of at an angle. And you can just trim that up wherever you want to or need to, or you can leave it kind of hanging wild. And so here the three are together, and I'm just going to add a couple more berries along here and there to complete my look. You can do this any way you want with any type of picks. If you want to do neutral colors, you can do neutral colors. You can paint the facing of those frames or you can paint the entire box if you want to. You can do it any which way you like. We're going to start with the little house and we're going to just press down on this and it will pop right out. It is covered with a paper so you want to be sure that you clean that off of the back of your house. And scrape it off and then if you gently scrape you can get the paper off without having to paint the bottom so it's like there's a print on the top and like a papery backing and I was able to save that so that I don't have to worry about painting and waiting for the paint to dry but you can take yours completely off and just paint it with some white chalk paint dry it and it'll be perfect so I scraped a little too hard here I got a little spot but I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just take an acrylic paint marker or a paint pen, dot it on there, and then I'm going to take a napkin and just blot it off. And that covers it up nicely. And the reason we want to do that is because you'll be able to see through this one ply of napkin. We do separate these two ply napkins into one ply. We have less wrinkle in that way, so that's the way we're going to do it. I'm going to use a glue stick here and put this all the way on here, a nice full coverage so that it will adhere down flat. You can use Mod Podge or something else if you would like, but you gotta be really careful because the napkins are so fragile that they will tear. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna use Mod Podge or like um, a school glue for this. 
I'm going to gently place it down where I want it and then pat it down. Again, this is really, really thin. I'm going to use my little Mod Podge roller here and just make sure that I press out any wrinkles or bubbles that might be in there. Inevitably, there are going to be some projects where you just get some bubbles, lines, or wrinkles, and that's okay too. So you can pull your edges off like this, or you can just take a sanding block, I get mine at Dollar Tree, and just sand those down. And it gives it a nice, clean edge like it was painted on here. And that's the look, the look that I, I'm kind of going for. See with that nice white backing, it makes those beautiful colors of this napkin really pop. And I chose the popsicles because of summer, but you can choose any, any napkins that you would like and apply that to any of these projects. I'm going to use some hot glue and flip that down on the back, put it right back in its original place, and press it down. You can paint the edge of the box if you would like. You can embellish it with stickers or whatever you would like. I'm going to make a little bow to go in the top. I just feel like it needs a little extra something up there. It's kind of cutesy. It's not the look for everybody, but like I've said before, I like to give you options, and then you can do whatever you want to do with yours. This is just for inspiration. So this is a little simple shoelace bow. I bump the camera. And then I'm just going to trim those tails down where they won't be in the way of our little popsicles. There's some really pretty summer napkins out right now. They have some that are fruit also, like watermelons and lemons, all kinds of pretty ones. But you can think further into the season for fall. You can use fall napkins for these projects and just change up your colors a little bit. And that would be fine too. This is an easy way to take a $1.25 package of napkins and make a lot of decor. We're going to get five pieces and then there's actually more that you could do with this. So I decided once looking at this from all angles, like you know we do, that I wanted to add something extra on the outside. So I could have painted it, but I have this ribbon that fits almost perfectly. I had to just take a little bit off of the edge and then it was a perfect fit for the outside of this. And it almost looks like we painted it plaid. So whatever colors, if you like this, whatever colors that are going to coordinate with your napkin, you can use to put on the outside of your little house. Just going to use a little bit of glue here and put this ribbon down. I only glue it on the bottom when I started it and at the end. So I just kind of pull it tightly so that it won't slip around, hold it in place, and glue it down. And this would be easy to remove at another time if I wanted to use this box again for something. Another money saving tip. Subscribe for more and I'll see you again soon. Bye.